Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today on Voice, Heart, and Mind, where we talk about everything from here to here. I'd like to start with, with my deep respect for all who are suffering at this time and who have suffered in their bloodline for hundreds, thousands of years. For all who have suffered injustice and discrimination of any and all kinds. My mother is not from here. My mother is Hispanic, Mexican. She worked incredibly hard to prove herself, to help other people in social work and teaching. What all people of, uh, with ethnic background have had to do to over, overwork, over-educate, over-try, overly prove themselves to be taken seriously, to be given a chance, to be considered at all. This is a uh, not new and a long-standing problem. It is greed and supremacy. It is one person thinking they're better than the other people, thinking that they're better than this, and they're so smart, and they're intelligent, and they're more evolved, and they, they know better than, these people don't get it. They don't get how big I am. It, it's that. And that developed in a group of people that developed into them choosing to decide that a race was um, inferior to their race. The silver lining, the sun coming over the horizon, guys, people, friends, is that it's being shown again, is that we are all out there. We are all out there making a lot of noise that supremacists, racists, sexists, and bigots really hate because they're getting the light shined on them. Their evil and their ugliness and their greed is being shown. <laughs> and they really don't like that. <laughs> Greedy narcissists hate it when they get told, when they get when they're they get exposed, they hate it. So yeah, greed and supremacy has been able to exist because it manipulates, it manipulates to dominate. Thank God that publicly we were shown the tragic and morbid deaths of George Floyd, of Breonna Taylor, of Ahmaud Arbery. Of the, and these are just, not just, these are lives, who knows how many else. I won't spend more time on that, but God is with them now. And together, there is light being shown on ugliness. There is light being shown on greed. There is light being shown on narcissism. Nonviolent protesting, yes. Nonviolence, showing what is right, yes. These nonviolent efforts, and efforts is a freaking understatement. These nonviolent noises, words, chants, protests, presence, knocking on the door of authority, metaphorically, and showing up saying, hi, this is unethical, this is immoral, discrimination is actually still going on, and um, this is, and, and lives are actually being taken, being robbed, so we're not gonna be quiet. The intelligent, nonviolent, direct action that everyone is taking right now, that's going to cause the change. We are changing as a people, we are changing as humans. Thank God we are changing consciousness. How can we apply ourselves? And first and foremost, um, as adults especially, we have to look inside. <laughs> we have to look inside. Honestly, completely present, completely conscious. We have to look inside and see how we are embedded with, ingrained in, maybe a part of the problem. That way we can apply the best of ourselves, completely present to be the change. Accountability, morality, ethicality. Trust me, I understand these things, but we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> these are the main ingredients of truly living. Morality, ethicality, honesty, and accountability. And for young people and kids, 
you've already got it. You have the power. You've already got it. All it is is a matter of growing it. Knowing that you have the special. Knowing that you have the seed. All you have to do is grow. Ah, okay. Mm. Let's do some music, please. <laughs> Thank you. 